Hi guys and welcome to this week's My Halifax. My name's Adam Cooper. If you're new to the YouTube channel, we make videos all about the cool and fun things you can do in and around Halifax. This week is the final episode of our series, Donut Wars. We have a third contender that is gonna make an appearance, um, Balancing Rock. So let's give you a recap on our other contenders and show you what we're gonna do. So the Balancing Rock Cafe is actually inside the Marriott. Um, they do a lot of coffees and you know cool stuff like that and they also make specialty donuts. Um, when we first started this series we kind of thought they had like a selection there but it turns out they do one daily donut um, which today's donut is actually a chocolate pretzel awesomeness donut. <laughs> So like I was saying, the specialty donut today is a chocolatey um, maple pretzel thing. It's got a whole pretzel on it, which is kind of cool. So Vandal are bringing forward their lemon meringue donut. It is beautiful. Um, in the interest of full disclosure, because we live in the era of fake news, um, I am a lemon meringue fiend. So there's a good chance that this donut will win pure and simply because I love lemon meringue. Um, I'm going to try and judge them and eat donut dispassionately, but I'm just one person. So if you think one of these should win, go taste it. So Fortune were going with a maple dip donut. Now, that doesn't sound very special, and to be fair, I probably should have gone with one of their more um, out there donuts. Like, I really do want to go with, they have one that was covered in potato chips, but um, I actually whisked some teeth out, and I still have holes there, so I'm not supposed to eat anything that can go in there. I was just concerned that this would get really gory. So I picked this one, partly because I love maple as well. So. You know, I'm trying to balance it out with when I was there, which ones I kind of thought like these would be ones I'd be really into. Um, so, but again, definitely go to each store and check them out because there's a lot of cool stuff there. So we're about to do the taste test. I'm not gonna do blindfolded because clearly each donut is very easy to distinguish. And like I said, I've always been trying to go on the flavor, the texture, and how they taste to me. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna give you like a kind of render down of each one. And we're gonna go from there. And just remember, this is all for fun, and really it's just a good way for us to get out to Portugal. So we're going to start off with their first appearance in the Donut Wars, which is going to be the Balancing Rock Cafe's Donut, their specialty one for the day. Um, it's a very interesting donut, I kind of like what they've got going on with the pretzels and stuff like that. But again, Vandala and Fortune both have a similar concept with some of their different things, so definitely check that out. I do feel a bit sad that we couldn't find another place that had a bright selection of Vandal and Fortune do. Um, Scanway would be the next best option, but they're closed today sadly. So here we go. It's very chocolatey. The donut is incredibly light. Um, I got a little bit of pretzel with, with salty. It's kind of, if you're one of those people that really love sweet and salty and maybe puffy chocolate feel, a little hint of my, probably caramel or maple, that's a good donut for you. Um, weirdly enough, as much as I love chocolate, I'm not really a chocolate kind of donut person, but um, that's still a good donut, and I think if you were buying a special donut today, you would love this donut. <laughs> So our second contender, or our second review for this one, is going to be uh, Fortune's Maple Dip Donut. I, when I first came to Canada, got obsessed with Maple Dip Donuts, <laughs> and to the point where I ate so much of them that I was like, oh, I can't eat anymore. So, but when I saw this at Fortune, I was like, man, that looks like such a good Maple Dip, I gotta get it. So I'm very much looking forward to eating this. That kind of reminds me when I first came to Canada, because like it sounds stupid, but it was literally the first thing I ate in Canada coming out of the airport was a maple dip donut, and I just get like maybe a food associate, I don't know, but I'm just remembering that it was like wow, this is amazing because in England we just don't get maple dip donuts, so that is a solid maple dip donut. So if you are looking for a maple dip donut and you walk along Garden Street, what you might be a place you should hit up. So our final contender and our final review for the specialty donuts is going to be Vandal lemon meringue donut. I am so excited to eat this. I love lemon meringue. My mom will tell you I love lemon meringue pie. She makes me one. So I am all about this donut. I'm a lot scared to eat it because it's so pretty. But um, and this will get messy. So here we go. Go messy. That is such a good donut. Um, the lemon is just tart enough. The meringue makes it sweet enough to break it out, which is kind of what you look for in lemon meringue pie, pie too. 
So as a specialty donut goes, this is such a good specialty donut. It is probably my favorite of the three, mainly because I love lemon meringue so much. And to be fair, it is the one that I'd put truly in a specialized category. So if I was ranking them in order, I would probably go Vandal, Fortune, and Balance and Rock. Balance and Rock is still a great donut. It's just not my taste. I love the maple dip from Fortune, and really love this one. So that is the end for our donut wars. I have to say that it was a lot of fun. I ate so many donuts, it was just the best time. Um, but really this more, again, was more about trying to celebrate the incredibly talented people we have in our city making, doing amazing things with donuts. And I know that sounds very simple, but when you go into Vandal or Fortune and you see what they're doing, um, it's kind of completely out of left field in a really, really cool way. And I think we're lucky we have that in Halifax and I'm all, we're all about supporting local. So go out, buy as many donuts as you can, and just experiment. So thank you for watching this week's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And we'll see you next week. So the balance. So thank you for making it all the way to the end of this week's video. Make sure you hit the big round subscribe button so you never miss one of our cool videos. Follow us on all our social media link below. And we've got a couple of videos here we thought you might like to watch.